I look forward to see all the program and all the event until the finding of cross the bonfire. It's actually very beautiful and moving. It feels quite emotional with the singing and the drumming. <laughs> Celebrations, be it secular or otherwise, in Ethiopia are great and colorful events. Most of these celebrations are religious and frequently take place over several days. Important religious holidays include Eid al-Fitr, Arafah, Meskel, Christmas, Tumkat, and Kutatash, Ethiopian New Year, and the like. Most importantly, the New Year, which comes on September 11 or 12, depending on the leap year, is believed to be a sign of hope and prosperity among the people of Ethiopia. It coincides with the end of the long rainy season and the beginning of fall. This colorful celebration in Gutatash is followed by Mescal. The Mescal celebration is a holiday that is celebrated among the Ethiopian Orthodox Christians in remembrance of the finding of the true cross. The Mescal holiday is celebrated among the various nations, nationalities and the people of Ethiopia in accordance with their unique culture and traditions that transcended from generation to generations. Nonetheless, the celebration shares some commonality among all, and that makes it the most cherished and anticipated holiday in the Ethiopian unique calendar. <laughs> Legend has it that Queen Helena, unable to find the true sepulchre, she prayed for help and directed by the smoke from the burning fire, stumbled on the true cross on which Jesus Christ was crucified upon. <laughs> After unearthing the Holy Cross, Queen Helena lit torch heralding her success. The day of the finding of the Holy Cross is since then started to be celebrated pompously among the Christian faithful all over the world, including among the Orthodox Christians faithful here in Ethiopia. <laughs> The mescal celebration is usually associated with yellow daisies blooming on mountains and fields all across the nation. These flowers are therefore attributed the name mescal flower. <laughs> <laughs> 
The mescal celebration that is celebrated amid this beautiful scenario usually consists of two major events to be held in two consecutive days. The first is the Mera, torching of bonfire, then followed by the next day with a much warmer celebration with lots of feasting and happy merry-go-rounds. <laughs> The torching of the Demera in Mescal celebration has to date remained one of the most spectacular and most anticipated moments among the festival. Here in the capital and in most major cities, the carnival look alike. Mescal celebration is held in such a spectacular and breathtaking manner. On this occasion, men, women and children alike, dressed in a white traditional clothes and flock to the square where the Demerai is set on a light in great numbers. People at the square are then entertained with various religious sermons and processions, with all the different dignitaries and the clergy congregated in the various parish songs and sermons exhibited by choirs, deacons and priests drawn from the different chairs and actually consummated. Then the final chapter in the celebration will start. The Patriarch of the Ethiopian Orthodox Church orchestrates the lighting ceremony. Priests, deacons and Sunday school students in full ceremonial dressing show different spiritual activities around the bonfire. The ceremony for the day finally ends with the Demera burning down. There are some mythical assumptions on how the Demera falls down. It's believed that the direction to which the Demera falls into really indicates the future of the nation. day is filled with much more festivity on food and drinks and get together. Family and friends get together on this choice occasion to say their well wish with each other. The best place to see the Muscal Festival is the capital Addis Ababa, at the famous Muscal Square. Even though Muscal is colorfully celebrated with all Christian religion followers across Ethiopia, it's a unique celebration for the people in the region of Thazar nations, nationalities and most particularly in Rage people, whereby the holiday lasts for about a month. Here the holiday is warmly celebrated by different special days the most commonly known food known as kutfo, which is made from raw or slightly cooked and finely chopped meat and butter, is a favorite dish in most parts of Ethiopia, together with a staple food called kocho, which is made from insect, false banana. Another thing that warms the celebration is various musical performances practiced by the different ethnic groups of the nation. Many individuals move to countryside to celebrate the holiday colorfully and visit their families. Most particularly visiting the family members is experienced as mandatory to the Gragis. <laughs> Attending the celebration of Mescal is not only exciting for Ethiopian Salon, but tourists from different countries have been visiting in the hospitable city of the world, Addis Ababa, to attend the unique festivity of Muscal. For so many years, also enjoy the event. This event is not held in the United States, so it is very special to be here in Ethiopia, in Addis, to witness such a beautiful and religious 
ceremony. So far it's beautiful, a lot of people and the devotion of the Ethiopian people towards their uh, heritage, culture, religion is beautiful and uh, so far I'm enjoying it and I'm very mesmerized also how many people gather up to this uh, special uh, uh, event, special mescal uh, festival and uh, I look forward to see all the program and all the event until the finding of cross, the bonfire. beautiful and very interesting to understand the story behind Mescal but just actually very beautiful and moving it feels quite emotional with the singing and the drumming and um, all the people gathered together it feels like there's a lot of energy here the celebration of Mescal is not exclusively holiday but it's a convenient platform to display the unique culture and tradition to the rest of the world as being the unique culture in celebration of the country this celebration of Mescal should pass from generation to generation, keeping its originality. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.